I started to pitch them on this idea and they said, no, we're not going to do it. Then I go, you know what? I'm leaving this firm and I'm going to set up my own company and I'm going to do exactly what I think the market is going to want. And I set up Kingsdale Advisors in, 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 uh, in June 2003. And the whole concept behind Kingsdale Advisors is that we're not going to replicate the Georgia's business model. We're going to go and we're going to recruit people from outside and we're going to bring them in and we're going to train them to be advisors in this in niche space. So I went to one of my colleagues with a senior person in the company in Georgia, and I said, you want to come with me? And they were all excited. And then they go, not a chance. I didn't get a single person to come with me. And I so I built it. I was employee number one and I built it. And then all of a sudden people started to go, hey, we want to hire this guy. And my first mandate was from a company that I worked with a few years before that when I was at Georgeson, Wheaton River Minerals and I Am Gold announced a merger and I wanted to get that deal and I couldn't get the deal because they go, you're too small. We're going to go to Georgeson because they're the biggest in the, in the country. And one of the lawyers I work with, Paul Stein at Castles Brock and Blackwell, and Paul said, you know, let me give Ian Telfer a call, the CEO of Wheaton River, and uh, convince him that because of the work you did at Georgeson, you should get the shot on this merger. And they hired me to do that deal. And that deal changed the picture of the company. And then we start to, we became the go-to firm for mining transactions in Canada. Every single mining deals would come to our firm because of the work I did on that deal. And then we start to see activist investors coming into the market and then companies start to hire us and we start to win and they kept on hiring us. And uh, a number of years into that, Jordison kind of look at the landscape and go, we can't compete in Canada anymore. And they actually pulled the plug in their Canadian business because of Kingsdale and the competition that we created.